here, Johnny. Gosh, golly gee whiz. We broadcast in that time a jockey rider fell off the back of his wagon when running the jamboree. Oh, gee whiz. Despite the fact he was dead. Oh, horse feathers. If I wasn't so spifflicated, we'd have the real McCoy. Hello! Welcome to Brain Spill, the laziest show on the internet. My name is Tank, and that terrible 1920s radio impression should give you an idea of the time frame we're going back to today. The Roaring Twenties. 23-year-old Frank Hayes had never won a race before, but was a young and aspiring rider. While originally a horse handler and stable hand, he would soon become very well known for the strangest reason. Yes, today we are talking about that time that a jockey rider won a race despite the fact he was dead. And you might be wondering, how the hell did that happen? Well, we are going to go into detail today and tell you exactly why this possibly happened. Originally growing up in Ireland, he would move to Brooklyn, New York to work as a stable hand for a horse breeder, tending and training horses for racing. This must have been all pretty difficult on Frank with him wanting to be a racer, but when he trains the horses up, he's not the jockey that actually rides them. A professional jockey will take that horse and then win the race, despite the fact that he was the one that trained the horse. It must be pretty depressing, and I feel sorry for our boy Frank. With this being his aspiration for so long, he would be on the sidelines for quite some time, until a perfect opportunity came up for Frank, where he might actually have the chance to go ahead and race. Frank had managed to convince his boss to be able to go and race in the infamous Belmont Park Horse Circuit, commonly referred to as one of the finest race courses there is on the thoroughbred circuit. Frank had had enough of being on the sidelines, and now he wanted a piece of the action himself. Frank, who had trained up a young horse known as Sweet Kiss, who, to be honest, had no real prospect of winning a race, was the horse that was next one up for the challenge. We all love a good underdog story though, don't we? A newbie rider, a newbie horse, both going into a tournament together. What are the chances? It's almost like a movie. Now, you see that Frank didn't actually own the horse Sweet Kiss. The owner themselves actually was looking for a jockey to ride the horse as a test in the upcoming race. However, at the time, they couldn't find any other jockeys. So, Frank, being the one that trained the horse, volunteered to go forward and do the job himself. Mainly because they needed a rider, but this would also be the perfect opportunity that Frank had been looking for. When I said that he convinced his boss to ride the horse, what I meant was there was no one else to do the job, so they kinda had no choice. Either way, this worked for Frank. That race was the 4th of June 1923 steeplechase at Belmont Park in New York. Yes, this was very exciting stuff. However, this was all quite last minute, and for Frank to even have a chance of winning the race, he needed to take some pretty drastic steps. One big one in fact was the fact that he had to shed a lot of weight in a relatively short space of time, in order to even stand a chance of getting the horse into the lead. Because at the end of the day, if the jockey's quite hefty, then that's only going to weigh and slow your horse down. Many jockeys are actually very light, so that means that Frank, well, he had to take some rather drastic measures. Yes, at the end of the day, this ain't no amateur race. He was in it for the win, and if he wanted to achieve his dreams, he had to act. And act, he did. Whilst the details around exactly what happened aren't clear, it is believed that he reduced his body weight down to 130 pounds, spending hours on end jogging and denying himself any water in order to shed as much weight as possible. This was all to ensure that when he got on top of his horse, he was as light as he could possibly be to give Sweet Kiss the chance to go ahead and race. As you might have guessed, there is some pretty serious health risks by doing so much exercise without having any water before getting on top of a horse before doing a race. So um, things weren't really looking good from the offset. However, on the day in question, he arrived, he got on board Sweet Kiss and was ready to go for the gold. So, the race starts and all the horses are gone. However, to everyone's surprise, Sweet Kiss is actually pulling out in front and to even to Frank's shock, he doesn't know what to do. He's probably elated with the fact that he is actually in the lead in his very first race. Clearly, all that work he'd done had paid off. This must have been so exhilarating for him to be on the back of a horse with his dream of winning a race. In sight, on the finishing line, he was going for it. 
He then had heart failure and died on the back of his horse. So, um, yeah, this ain't all sunshine and rainbows, unfortunately. Yep, this jockey had just slumped dead onto his horse, but nobody seemed to notice, mainly down to the fact that somehow he managed to stay on the back of the horse and didn't fall off. Many, many people were cheering him on, and Sweet Kiss got the win, got first and won the race. Unfortunately, Frank wasn't alive to see it. He already died by the time that the horse passed the finishing line. Nobody had even realised that Frank had died until the owner of the horse came up to congratulate him, and that was when they saw his body slump off the horse onto the ground. Dead. A doctor at the scene pronounced him dead there and then, which led to a very strange set of circumstances in which, even though he wasn't alive when he passed the finishing line, technically, the jockey and the horse both passed the line at the same time. So, does he deserve the win? Well, in this case in particular, they decided to bend the rules and, in his honour, give Sweet Kiss the win. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure that the official rules never even considered something like this would ever happen, so they had to waive the normal rules to make sure something like this was allowed. There has never really been an incident like this since, and this is the first and only rider to win a race being dead. As a matter of fact, on record, this is the only sports person to ever win any sporting event whilst being deceased, which is pretty crazy when you think about it. I mean, I don't think we'll probably ever see anything really like this happen again. Frank Hayes was buried three days later while still dressed in his racing silks. The New York Times speculated that the jockey's heart had given out as a result of the severe training in order to make the weight for the race, coupled with the excitement of winning his first race. The horse, Sweet Kiss, allegedly never rode again, but was given the very apt name, the Sweet Kiss of Death. If you liked the video, be sure to like and subscribe. If you want to be notified as soon as I upload my next video, be sure to hit the bell button. And if you've got any ideas for what topics you'd like me to discuss next, let me know down in the comments below. As always, sources used in the video will be in the description. Although this unfortunately happened to someone so young who never actually got to experience a win alive, he does have one more accolade he can take with him, and that's the fact that this man has never lost a race. He has a 100% race record. So take that as you will. I'll see you guys in the next video. Fantastic.